spectacular ocean views not far away from the home of the Florida Atlantic Owls, FAU Stadium in Boca Raton, Florida, where they hope this game lives up to the setting. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see a squad from Conference USA, the Florida International Panthers, taking on a team from the AAC, the Florida Atlantic Owls. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. The returner will field it and try to get some field position. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. The Panthers' offense will have plenty of work to do after that return was bottled up. Here he comes, and obviously a defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. He knows the receiver. He's down the <laughs> so the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. They'll line up for a second down play. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Pushes ahead for a couple, they'll mark it at the 10. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. When those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And I just love having matchups out wide that I know can win. Guys that are so fast on the perimeter that threaten with speed, and guys start bailing and getting out of there and on third down, and I need that yardage, I can go to him, and he'll get the first down on the car. Yeah, it's a bit of a surge, and he's knocked down after picking up three to the 26. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. You know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game in particular. The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. This offense is going to have to come up with a plan to block this guy. He is an absolute monster, and he showed you all his tools on that sack. FIU will line up to punt. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. They'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. So the Florida Atlantic Owls offense headed onto the field. Our first look at them today. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Leaves it with the back. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. This is a guy that can find you the hidden yardage. That play just pushes the pile to get that first down. The offense sets up chop at the 46 on first down. Used the play fake, now to throw. Pressure coming. He's going to run it. And that's a live ball. Oh, the offense 
very fortunate to fall on that football. Good awareness by the offense. You never want to see the ball on the ground, but a nice job understanding to just kind of jump on it and make sure you keep possession. They're bringing heat. It has been all defense all the time in the early going as we wrap up the first quarter, and the stats certainly reflect that. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. A third down play to get the quarter started. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Feeling some heat. And the defense is there to stop him short of the first down. Ford Atlantic will have to send out the punt team. That thing was down for a while, but the big bounce carried it into the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. The Florida International offense is back on the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. FIU pushing tempo. From the gun, give on the inside. He powers his way ahead, gets three, but they're still looking at fourth and two. FIU will line up the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Hauls it in and looking upfield. Working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. The Florida Atlantic offense will return to the field. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. It's first and 10 from the 44-yard line. Back to pass, it's Fancher. The throw to the outside is complete. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Well, you can tell those two have been practicing the out route all offseason long. They look like they could have completed that in their sleep. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots. You read the quarterback's eyes. Make sure you take away that quick stuff. And a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. This tight end is such a weapon because he can line up all over the field. That time he starts in the slot. And he's running the corner route against zone coverage. And he's just got athleticism and wiggle and the ability to separate and make big plays. It's so nice to have a target like that. They're in the red zone and they'll pass it. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. They'll run this play from the pistol. They'll throw again after the incompletion. And he's got it! Touchdown, Owls! And it feels good to land that first big punch against a rival, doesn't it? No doubt. In a game like this, too, you just want to be executing at a high level early. So, David, that's got to feel great getting on the board first. And settles everyone down. All the nerves, all the emotion of this rivalry game. Now everybody can kind of settle in because you know you already got a touchdown on the board. Getting set for the point after. And the PAT makes it 7-0. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. They're just about ready to kick it away. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. He's got great speed. Oh, and now the ball has been knocked free. And they were lucky that fumble went out of bounds. They'll maintain possession. FIU gets it back, and the Panthers will send the offense back onto the field. Fires a bullet. Now it's picked off. 
didn't let him get loose on the return, but he'll take it as they have the ball at the 47. And I tell you what, when defenses play zone, all eyes are on the quarterback. You have a zone to drop to, but you're setting on the quarterback, reading his eyes. Great job by the defense understanding the ball was coming out, breaks on the football, goes and makes the INT. On first down, here comes this offense. Let's go! They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Good execution. They move the sticks, and they've got it at the 33. You get that turnover, and you try to punch them hard immediately on the first play, and they come up with a big game. And when the defense is running on the field, you are thinking sudden change, sudden change. When they create a turnover, a lot of times offenses want to be aggressive. They were, and they get rewarded. And now on second down for this offense. Knew where he wanted to go with it, but couldn't find his target. It's incomplete. They couldn't connect on second down. Now staring at a third and nine. To the air, it's Fancher. Throws to the wideout. Lost the defense, he's wide open. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything is working. The offensive coordinator's calling good plays. The quarterback in his unit is executing. And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double-checking to make sure. Ford Atlantic going back to work after moving the chains. Lasso. They'll throw it on first down. Makes the catch. It's Tucker. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown out! You know, quarterbacks and receivers, they develop confidence and chemistry as the game goes on. These two right now are definitely on the same page. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 14-0. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the capper came on the run to the end zone from the 13. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. Bringing it back. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. Guys, FIU ready to go back to work on offense. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my... He's got it down the left side. Can anyone catch him? He's at the 10. Touchdown, Panthers. And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. Lining up to add another. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Ford Atlantic has the ball back, and the offense will try to put together a drive. Now, they're backed up here, Jesse. Wonder how aggressive they're willing to be. I think it's going to come down to how much confidence they have in this quarterback and his decision-making. 
Makes the grab on the left side. Afterburner's coming. Ten. And he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Owls. Well, I'm not sure who was closer to the receiver there, the defensive backs or us here in the booth. <laughs> that was great execution on offense. Receiver wins the route one-on-one, -on -one, shows off his speed, gets himself wide open. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that ball. Nice job. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point puts them on top 21-7. to That one's going to get a little star marked beside it on the play sheet. One play, explosive, touchdown just like that. They're lining up to boot it away. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Give to the back. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. The Panthers will kick it off to start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Florida Atlantic takes over again, and the Owls' offense will go back to work. They start this third quarter with the lead, but they might want to think about shoring up that protection. Yeah, the good news is you're leading on the scoreboard. The bad news is your quarterback doesn't feel like it because you can't protect him. So, David, adjustments in pass protection, that has to be something they were talking about here at halftime. A hundred percent. Just you, you can't get him hit that much. He's still doing a good job delivering the football, but if you keep hitting the quarterback enough, man, they'll start to see ghosts, they'll panic, and they'll make some of those mistakes. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. They'll try to run for it. And that should be enough to give Florida Atlantic the first down. You got to have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. To throw, it's Fancher. That throw might have been a little too hot. He couldn't haul it in. in back. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. So the officials take a closer look, and the replay booth will overturn the call. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. He's looking to throw. Coming after it. Going for the big play. He almost had the pick, and that could have given them a boost. Instead, it'll be third down. Well, they're leading by two possessions offensively, and that could have been a game-changing play right there. That's a throw the quarterback would like to have back. He's very lucky that was not intercepted. He lost one down the sideline. And he's got it inside the 20. And he's brought down after a huge completion. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play. And I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in.
They just changed the dynamic of this possession in a heartbeat, and now it's first and ten from inside the red zone. He makes the connection. Touchdown, Florida Atlantic. What a catch and run for six. Offense gets the job done again. You want to build that cushion as we get deeper into the second half. Man, it makes it easy, doesn't it? You start getting up by a couple possessions, making the offense very predictable on the other side. Great job by the offense extending their lead. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive, and the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. The Florida International offense is back on the field. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession again. The offense is going to have to score. And Jesse probably score pretty quick. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you've got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. They're going to ride this running back. Still running at the 40. Major gaps in that defense, and he got loose, and they finally knock him down at the 41. I love that play call. This offense is going to run the football. They're not just going to do it between the tackles, but they're going to attack you outside. You saw that with that handoff. They get to the right. They get him in space using his speed. Good play call. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. Offense gets set for second down. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. FIU pushing tempo. Looking downfield, it's Jenkins. They're trying to get to him. It's incomplete and will change ends of the field now. All right, guys, so Ford Atlantic has the lead. They've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we got here. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. Down by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. They'll try to pick up the first. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. FIU comes out with a fresh set of downs. Well, the head coach said he was going to be aggressive. Fourth and two is kind of right on that edge, but he goes for it and gets it done. They said he was going to be aggressive, and he backed it up. That's one thing you want to see. The freshman able to get home with the sack. Big loss on the last plate. Threatens to knock this drive off course. It's second and 16. He's looking to throw. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. Fires to the tight end. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. Fires one high and deep. Picked off. Takes it the other way. The 40. At the 20. And he's going to take it all the way back. Touchdown, Owls. And that just might do it. Man, offense needed points. Needed points badly. Defense comes up with the big interception, takes it all the way back just to pad their lead a little bit and make this game almost, almost out of reach.
PAT unit on the field. And the extra point sails through, and they have a 35-7 lead. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. FIU gets it back, and the Panthers will send the offense back onto the field. That last pick six after a drive like that, David can swing the momentum of a game. And he is snowed under, sacked at the seven. And this has been one of those days you want to forget. I mean, you're getting drunk. There's no other way to put it. It's been a bad day. I'm trying to put a drive together here, maybe to just get some kind of momentum, something positive, maybe something in the locker room we can talk about that didn't go wrong. All right, Hoping to find one that works this time on second down from the seven. Wants to throw, it's Jenkins. He's got his man. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Getting some heat. And the pressure gets him back at the 8-yard line. And man, is that a just indictment of the day. Your quarterback getting drilled late in the football game. This offense has sputtered. They haven't found any kind of good rhythm. They haven't done things that, that really gives your coach confidence and, and makes you want to believe in them. This offense has a lot of work to do before their next football game. FIU will line up to punt. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. The Florida Atlantic offense will return to the field. And now one of the most satisfying moments in football, just watching that clock drain away while you have control of the ball. He wants to go deep. And they won't be able to connect downfield, looking for a big-time play. After the incompletion, looking at second down. They keep it on the ground. Clock is their friend. They make the stop at the 37, but not before he's got 10 yards and the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And they knocked him down almost immediately. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. And there's nothing more frustrating than when you get late in the game and you know they're running the football and you don't stop them. It's been that kind of day for this defense. They haven't played. Deep shot for the end zone. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. Florida Atlantic decides to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the punt hits ground at the two and goes into the end zone. He just missed, pinning them right in the shadow of the goalpost. It'll come out to the 20. They'll throw it on first down. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't, they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. He's got an open man. Off he goes. The 10! Touchdown, Florida International! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. And a nice touchdown, continuing to fight, continuing to play. This one 
it's pretty much over. Down multiple possessions this late in the football game. It would take a miracle, but nice job by this offense continuing to fight, push the ball down the field, make plays. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is good. They still trail 35-14. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they get it in with a huge play, an 80-yard touchdown pass. Maybe feeling a little better about things. Still a 21-point game as they're set to kick it off. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Florida Atlantic has the ball back, and the offense will try to put together a drive. This is quickly turning into a celebration, Jesse, as they've taken control of this game. And they should feel good about how they've played. They knew they had to come in here, protect home turf. They've gone out. They've run it well. They've thrown it well, David. Really, so much that this coaching staff can be happy about. Yeah, and now it's about stat padding, right? Like, you can just put up more numbers. You know this game's pretty good. Don't turn it over. Don't make a mistake. But this game is well in hand. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. They make the stop, and the clock strikes zero, and that will do it for this one. There's a long and storied history of great games between these two rivals, and this chapter adds another to that legacy. Really Im impressed by the poise by the winning team as well here. They weren't overhyped in this game. They came out, they looked prepared, they were calm, definitely confident. And David, they were able to go out and execute well enough to get this win. And it's hard in these rivalry games with all the emotions running so deep. Like you sometimes get overzealous, sometimes you get too many penalties. It's hard to rein in your emotions, but they did. They kept it in check, and now bragging rights for a whole year. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, David Pollock. I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.